I'm Kevin. And I'm Heather. And we are at a very important part of the trailer reno. We've renamed our Lois. Yeah, we've covered that. Yep. But we didn't have any place to sleep, any cushions, and so we are going to be cutting the cushions for the the uh, cushions for the where you and I sleep. Yeah. And we're gonna start there, and we're gonna show you how we're gonna use material we already have to make the uh, covering for it. The, we bought, we got this at the depot of the home, and we're gonna use uh, some old blue sheets. Yeah. To use as the covering. As I've the, never made covers before, like for cushions, yeah. so this should be fun. It'll it'll be fine. It's not it's not it doesn't have to be you know too fancy because it's just the going batty clan. So yes. all right, check this out. All right, so first we're gonna try with a straight razor, and then we'll see if we can do a better way. I know there's probably other tools to use, but we're kind of using what we got. It's not cutting anything, is it? It's just barely. It's not pointy it. enough. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a pointy one. Yeah. It's like cutting a really big piece of bread. Yeah. Heather said that if we had a turkey cutter, like you have. An electric knife. An electric knife. I've seen people use those. That would work good. Just don't cut into the table, please. All right, we got the piece that we need now. We're gonna cut it so it's uh, thinner. And you can probably come, this is uh, this is how long, way up wide the bench is. And this is where the line we're gonna cut, so Heather's just gonna take it that way. Okay, I just made sure that I was seven and a half inches all the way down. And so this is my line I'm gonna cut on. And probably what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this edge be towards the back. Yeah. That way it's, it's, you know. And surprisingly, this bread knife is working really well, isn't it? Yeah. To cut with? Yeah, I probably should cut the other one this way, like on the table this way. What other one? That other, and so it wasn't so dangerous. Oh, well, you, you live and learn, you know? There it came off. Yeah. All right, sweet. That was a pretty handy little tool right there, folks. If you have a bread knife and you need to cut some foam, that's the best way to do it right there. That's a that's that's like a little cheat we never knew we knew. Well, I knew, like I've watched people do this where they used an electric knife. Mm -hmm. And we don't have one. And I don't want to buy an electric knife just to cut foam. Right. That I'm gonna only use the electric knife once. That and then maybe at Christmas. But we don't do right. turkey. We don't do turkey, yeah. We're not we have turkey pants. Police Dodd, so <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, this was $20 at Home Depot. All of them kind of have these stains on them from being in the warehouse, which is a little bit annoying, but Heather's gonna cover over that. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a way of cleaning them, but kind of a good price for what we need in our little project. So what we've done is we found some blue sheets from down in the drawer that the boys don't use anymore. They're in good condition and we're taking the, the elastic out of it. Is that right? Yeah, because when we fold it up, the elastic bunches in it and we can't pull it tight enough to get the um to get the wrinkles the wrinkles and the corners done right right, right. so what they decided to do is they're going to cut off the elastic because it's too it's going to take too long to unseam it and it won't take up that much of the material so we can use that to cover that So they've got it cut out, but what they're doing is they're trying to find the center so they can use the most material to cover it. And it's not an exact science when you're reusing a bench. The board is under there. We're stapling to the board. We're gonna pound those down because it's not going deep enough into the plywood, but we need a hammer to get those in. And we're just gonna line them up across and kind of do them like so. Ready? It slips on me sometimes. Well, it's hard because you're holding a phone, too. Yeah.
cushion of the trailer. So the fabric on the corner will help protect it from ripping. At least that's what we think will happen. And I'm feeling in like... We're going to give it a try anyway. Corner is nice and protected. It's not pretty, but all this will be covered. You won't be able to see it, and hopefully, it won't rip through too much. Okay, so we've done two. This is our third, and what we've done is we put uh, some protection on the corner so it doesn't rip the fabric. We've got a piece of plywood with our sponge, not sponge cushion. It's spongy though. See, it's spongy. It makes it spongy. And then we're gonna cover this up and do the staples that you saw us do earlier. And this is the last one that we're gonna go show you the trailer. All right, so now we have cushions. We're all set. We're ready. This thing has got camping written all over it. One of us will sleep there. The other one will sleep there. Hopefully that'll be me because that's got the outlet over there. Um, we've connected that power strip to the battery um, through, a, uh, through an inverter, so. Anyway, we did, I, I'm real excited about these. These are cushions we got from Depot of the Home, and the sheets were leftover uh, sheets and uh, Walmart sheets, and it just worked out really well that we were able to fit these all together and make the blue, and I think it looks really good contrasted to the white. Yeah, with the white, it looks good. So we made some cushions. Let's see how they, let's see if we can rest on them. So he says he wants to sleep out here tonight in the camper. <laughs> so, but I, yeah, I think it looks good. It looks good with the, the white and the blue and it's just going to be continually, continually a work in progress. So we'll get little bits done as we go. <laughs> so what do you think of our little trailer now? It's starting to come together. It is, isn't it? it? Is. So well, let's take you on the journey real quick. I saw this on Facebook for around $1,500 and actually they're asking more than that. And uh, we looked at it and thought, we want to go camping. We want to do this travel trailer thing. How can we get out there as quickly as possible and as inexpensively as possible? And this is not a lot quicker than, I thought this would be like a year long process. And it still might be. <laughs> well, but I mean, We've got a yeah. few more things to yeah. take care of. but. Um, it's gone a lot quicker than we expected. A lot quicker. Yeah. And the fun part is, is that uh, it really hasn't cost us over probably total uh, 2,500. That's probably the most that we've with spent. With the trailer? Um, with, including the trailer. Including, including okay. the trailer, yeah. She's better now. Um, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, did, I, don't, I think that's on the high side. I don't even think we spent that much, but I, I'm trying to, uh, there was a couple of expensive things that we had to get, like, um, you know, new. the paint was expensive, the wood was an ongoing thing. Every time I turned around, I was buying some sort of gadget or screw or something like that. It went a lot quicker than we expected. Our kids nailed it, man. They, they did, did a great yeah. job. And I think what we have in front of us is a trailer that we can use for a couple of years to go camping with our church family, to go camping as our, our immediate family, and to kind of enjoy the, the great outdoors of Wyoming. In and, fact, like the, the maiden voyage with me in it, we're actually going camping with some friends from church. That's right. There's, there's two couples that they're... They've asked us to go with them, and We're so gonna this go. is gonna. We needed to get these cushions because I'm like, I'm not <laughs> sleeping on a wood board. <laughs> so. Yeah, I got to take care of my queen. So, the 
the overall project has gone really quick and it's been a learning experience for all of us. And at first you weren't so keen on it. I was not, Well, it was hard at first because there was so much dust and stuff in here. Like I just, I, I, I mold, I dust, I rotted wood. Here. Hang on. So. I got to switch hands. <laughs> so we did, we had to switch cause my arm was getting tired. The, um, there are imperfections yep. and it's because we're learning. There's a soft spot in the floor that we're going to have to look at. There's some tiles that come, came back up that we're going to have to glue back down. But that's really not the point. The point is, is we have a functioning trailer now where we can go camping. Rugs hide a multitude of sins. They that's, do. That's my next purchase. I'm going to, I'm going to get some rugs that go with the, the blue. And then tack them down. And I'm going well, they're going to have that rubbery Stick them down. stuff on yeah. the bottom. So we'll put it here at the door and we'll mm -hmm. put it like there in front of the stove and everything. In the galley. So. Yep. Yep. I see a couple of doors that are going to need some new like locks so they don't come knobs. open when knobs when we're, knobs. when we're coming down the road, they won't fly open. And like I said, we're going to do curtains back here. Um, there's a, a couple of big items that we'll do videos on as we go. Uh, packing the bearings with the wheels, uh, getting the, uh, getting the new propane tanks and uh, when we decide to finish the bathroom, we did not finish the bathroom. No, it's so But we have a energy. functioning toilet. Yes. For we have a toilet, so if we need to wash our hands, we can wash it at mm -hmm. the kitchen. Well, if we need, when it, we need. When we need, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so there's not like a, a bathroom sink yet. Right. So, um, but we can still work with what we have right now. That's right. So even though there's some little imperfections, it's, it's turned out really well. Yeah. And, and I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you guys have taken time to give us advice, to comment on our videos. They're helpful comments, and we really appreciate the folks that follow our channel to be so supportive um, and to be so encouraging. Because this was a project we didn't know where it was going to go, and mm. I think it's strong enough it'll last for a while. But mm -hmm. we're not going to camp in it every single weekend, although I'd love to. Well, you can't. Because you're a pastor and you have to be at church on Sunday. <laughs> well, there, yeah, I'll be back by Sunday. <laughs> I'll be back by then. So, guys, thanks for watching our channel. Yep. Um, we've got some other videos coming up. They're going to be good. They're going to be a lot of fun. They're going to be more vlogging kind of things like we released earlier this week. I'm starting to get a few little things from my garden. I have two zucchinis. Zucchinis. I'm going to have some of those. I'm going to have some uh, spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. I am going to have a mess of green beans. Oh, yeah. Um, and a lot of potatoes, too. And a lot too. of potatoes, too. And, yeah. and some of my tomatoes have kind of come out of it. So hopefully, I'll get some fruit off of it before it frosts here. But, <laughs> you know, who knows? That might happen in two weeks. <laughs> you so. never know. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, more, more updates, updates as we go. go. Bye, guys. Oh, my arm's tired. My arm's tired. Ah!